Hey guys, this is Radar Mario 21 back here for more Let's Play Ocarina of Time. And just a quick side note before we enter, on the far opposite side, I think right under Darunia's room, is a secret cave with fairies if you need them. Screw it, I don't need them. It's just time for me to kick some ass. I know this part of the game like the back of my hand because I've been known to play this game when drinking and I always play the very end, I play the Ganon fight. And I need my freaking hook shot because these keys are pissing me off. But uh, whenever I do this part in the game, I always, always, always listen to Godsmack. I stand alone. It's just part of my one of my traditions of weirdness that I listen to Godsmack and play Zelda. It's just things I do when I've been drinking. Die, keys. Thank you. Why am I even finding these keys? I don't know. You don't have to kill them. It's just progress through the room screw you i don't even care about you anymore i just want to progress i'm just yakking about nothing hey evil yoshis no you're gonna die evil yoshi and i'm getting my ass kicked great a big reason why i listen to god smack i stand alone while i play this castle is i did once when i was drinking and then I was at the po uh, uh, point of uh, alcohol and tiredness where the video on my computer and the game were kind of fusing into one. And in the I Stand Alone video, Soliorna is at just like a Legend of Zelda-like temple. And I swear there are freaking Stalfos and Soliorna and the rocks start kicking Stalfos' ass. And speaking of Stalfos, we got two of them. So yeah. Where's the rock when you need him? I need the great one to help me lay the smack down on these Stalfos' candy asses. These I don't think respawn, but just be careful. I'm going to hit this guy four times and hit, can kill his buddy and go back and kill him. Because, again, I don't want to fight these Goofy twice. Again, I'm playing with Reckless Abandon because, spoiler, I'll be able to get full health right before the boss fight. So screw it. Reckless Abandon Ho, and pay attention to that freaking treasure chest. There have been a couple of times where I forgot the treasure chest, gotten all the way to the boss door, I'm like, crap, I forgot the boss key. Damn it. But alas, not this time. Screw you, game. I'm not missing that damn treasure chest. I believe there's one more room, and this organ music's getting pretty creepy. I do love it, though. We got not one, but two iron knuckles. I'll take the left one out first, because why the hell not? These guys are, these chicks are, I mean, these chicks, yeah. They're cake if you, for the love of God, don't wake the second one up when you're fighting the first one. If, as long as you don't do that, you're fine. And I'm getting my ass kicked by this freaking iron knuckle, because I'm not backflipping. I'm not taking my own stick and move advice. Forgot the backswing, damn it. Down the ten heart. Die, evil. Chick, Iron Maiden chick. They give you three hearts, but again, completely unnecessary. You'll be healed in plenty before the final boss fight. As long as I have more than three hearts, by the time I beat this chick, I should be fine. I'm taking her clothes off. <laughs> She's getting naked. There we go. Stab that chick and... I really don't need the hearts, but I'll take them. Just because I'm that much of a... want to show Ganon I'm not phased by his crap. Because I believe, yep, we're about to approach the boss door of doom. Here we go. The organ music just gets louder and creepier. Let's reflect on our adventure of all the crap we've gone through. Or we could, but screw it. I'm not one for reflecting. I'm one for action. She's got... This a-hole's got Zelda. I'm going to kick his ass. Because apparently it's my destiny to kick this guy's ass. That's what everyone's been telling me since I've awoken from that freaking sacred realm. And I apparently was in a coma for seven years. So let's freaking do this. Why are you shocked? You knew Zelda was trapped in a crystal. You've seen Ganondorf before. What's so shocking? The fact that Ganondorf plays an organ, I guess that's pretty shocking. Oh, crap. 
The Triforce parts are resonating. They're combining into one again. The two parts I could not acquire on that day seven years ago. I never thought they'd be hidden within you two. Again, I've played this freaking fight so many times I memorized Gan's lines. Face me. I'm sick. I, that's all I can say. Oh, capture not acquiring. My bad. I pretty much got... Oh, I forgot these toys are too much for you. I demand you return them to me. Oh, crap. This part, too. Whoops. And he's got a freaking cape. Of course he has a cape. Only Ganondorf can pull off a freaking cape. What, Navi? I don't care. That's fine. I don't need you. It's fine. I don't need you, Navi. And Jorgen magically disappears for no reason, because stuff. And of course, now he starts wrecking his own house, castle, because this guy's freaking insane. Like, dude, why are you... Destroying your organ and wrecking your floor. It's not worth it, dude. I'm just... Ah, that was right in the chest shoulder. It's usually fun to get him in the nads, because, again, shooting people in the nads, especially eight holes in the nads, is funny. But you shoot him with a light arrow, he becomes temporarily stunned, and just wail into him with the freaking Master Sword. Could use Big Goron Sword, but screw it. I'm a traditionalist. I like using the good old Master Sword. In this volleyball part, I've seen people use empty bottles, but eh, tradition. I like using the Master Sword. God, this rally is going on forever. Did you just get hit already? Thank you. Oh, yeah, I got him right in the nads. Awesome. Logically, he should be down longer because I got him in the nads, but... Oh, come on. I only got two hits, and that sucks. Oh, cool. He's making random parts of the floor disappear for no reason, because he's just pissed I shot him in the nads. But you're going to freaking die now. Damn it. Swung slightly too early. Crap. Come on, dude. I don't have all night for this. That's faster than I remember. Crap. Damn it! Oh, ho, ho, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to stay in my sweet spot. It's right about it. Crap! Why am I sucking so bad? Come on. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Thank you. I think the problem is I'm too sober, because the majority of the times I did this boss fight, I was pretty much drunk, so, or at least drinking. So it's like that drunk sense that you just can't recapture when you're sober. But he's staying down for a while. I'm just wailing into him. This is awesome. Did I get him in the balls? I don't know. We also have to look at the replay on that one. Give it up. You can't win. That time I got him right in the balls. I saw it. I saw it with my own two eyes. And he's like, oh, dude, you shot me in the balls. But of course he's got magic powers that let him recover from being shot in the balls super fast. And here's the second attack where he tries to destroy the floor. What I like to do is run to the corner, let him rip, roll out. Whatever, you don't do any damage to the floor. Honestly, it becomes a pain in the ass if he does damage, too much damage to the floor. Just an more annoying than hard. I try to keep as much to the floor as possible because I'm all good housekeeping and crap. I honestly don't know, but... Just freaking die already, Ganondorf. Face him, Link! You know, you can't hit him if you don't face him. He should be pretty much dead by now. I can kind of tell because my magic meter is getting pretty low. 
That one was right in the knee, not in the, not in the balls, damn it. Just freaking die already. Oh my god, he's not dying. At least he's not trying to do that. Crap! That was my fault. Now he's going to do six four attacks in a row, watch. Here we go. Screw you. Awesome, we only did one. Cause it, you can reflect back that floor attack, but it's super tough. You gotta have precise timing. It's down to probably about a quarter of a second timing. Honestly, it's not worth it. Just freaking run away. This one, you have a lot bigger window of time. You have like about a second, second and a half. And oh my god, oh my god! A, a forever rally that ended up hurting me, of course, because I'm talking. Come on. That was in the shoulder, maybe the heart area. But just freaking die already, thank you! My favorite part of the game. Come on, do it already. Damn straight. There he goes. Rated E for everyone, kids. Ganondorf pukes blood. I beat this when my parents were visiting me, and my mom started calling Ganondorf blood puke just because of that scene. It's actually pretty cool. But of course, now he's getting pissed, and he's going to wreck the castle, so... In Metroid-ish fashion, we're going to have to freaking escape the castle. Link's like, dude, you just suck. Screw you. Where's my girl? Now, we could just cut his head off right here and now and be done with all this crap once and for all, but again, video game logic. There were, then there would be no sequels. There'd be no Wind Waker. There'd be no... Well, he wasn't in a... This is the Wind Waker timeline, supposedly. Or, or I guess, no. If, maybe it's Wind Waker. Maybe it's Link to the Past. Who knows? But those games wouldn't exist if we just cut his freaking head off right now. Yeah, aren't you preachy? And you couldn't do crap without me, so why are you so preachy? Okay. Yeah, I can kind of tell. Uh, I figured that's why he's destroying his castle. No, I think I'm going to take my time. Uh, do you even know your way around the castle, Zelda? Because I do, so maybe you should follow me. I mean, you were in that whole crystal the whole, uh, crystal the whole time. I guess he instantly shot you up to the roof, but or the top floor. Yeah, I've actually fought my way through all this crap, so follow me. But of course, Zelda being Zelda would probably be like, Look, dude, you want to get out of here alive or not? All right? Then shut up and just freaking follow me already. And of course she shoves me out of the way, because why not? So yeah, let's just escape the castle and Zelda has to use her magic spell to lift the gate. Why couldn't she be around with all the other temples to lift the gates for me? That would have been awesome. Zelda, where the- Come on, Zelda! I thought we had to hurry! You have to wait for me? Come on! And shove me out of the way too, for good measure. And hooray platforming, and it's surprising that these platforms didn't collapse. Hooray convenience, I guess. And that's the third time Zelda shoved me out of the way. She's getting quite rude. But if she's Zelda, so I'll forgive her. Just, yeah, flaming piles of turds. Let's just avoid that, because no one wants to touch a flaming turd. At least they, they're, I know they're boulders, but come on, they look like turds. Like giant freaking turds. Crap! Okay, cool. I got to start. Do I have to start at the very, very beginning or just this part? This stupid controller is a little slippery, but what are you going to do? I lost half a heart because I was stupid, but. 
And of course, Zelda, for some reason, get, just stands here and see if you stood by me instead of just standing in the corner, you wouldn't be caught in the fire, but now I gotta kick two Stalfos' ass. At least these Stalfos are a lot more aggressive. But warning, these guys do respawn after a certain time period, so do the whole, hit the first one four times, knock the second one out, then knock the first one out. It'll save you a lot of time, and time is something you definitely need. You're welcome, Zelda, and thank you for the hearts. That's awesome. It's like in uh, Super Mario World when you fight Bowser and Peach Hain tosses you a mushroom, but it's actually something you need. That was one time Peach was actually useful in a main series Mario game. Zelda at least, you know, hides for seven years and she hooks you up with health refills, which is always cool. I believe it's just one or two more rooms and we'll be good to go. Just watch out for the flaming turds. I'm good to go. I got plenty of time and of course, for good measure, Zelda just shoves me out of the way. Well over a minute. Crap. Got hit by a flaming... Two flaming turds. Great. Three. That's not a big deal. I'm not going to be able to get healed before the final fight, but... Damn it, Zelda, where the hell are you? Zelda, thank you. I got hit by four freaking bull... Zelda! Stop doing your nails. We we're supposed to escape this freaking castle, remember? But we're right outside the castle, just gotta avoid being raped by the Reed Dead, and we should be good to go. Don't even bother fighting it, just run the hell away. Because this is the last room of the castle, we're right at the entrance. Hooray for that. You know what? Screw you, Gen. I made it out alive. What do you gotta say about it, boy? With about 45 seconds, 48 seconds to spare. Awesome. Would have been a whole minute if Zelda didn't just stop there in that room, but. Whatever. Let's sit back and watch Ganon's tower completely collapse. And of course, it just doesn't collapse on the side. It just magically crumbles down in perfect straight form. It doesn't, none of the debris ever hits us because logic. It magically implodes in a perfect symmetrical way. And how convenient it just kind of sinks and leaves a mostly level field. Interesting. That's not suspicious in the least. At least not to me, but whatever. Hell yeah, we've kicked Ganondorf's ass and we've left his castle in ruins. That sounds like a win to me. Is it over? Have we finally defeated Ganon? Is Hyrule ba back to peaceful times? Find out next time on Dragon Ball, I mean, Ocarina of Time. Till then, this is Radar Mario 21 signing out. Bye.